I am obsessed. Yes, okay. Well, hello guys, welcome to the vlog. Not really sure what this vlog is going to be today, but I'm gonna eat my acai bowl and talk to y'all. <laughs> As you can see, I got my red cardigan finally. So, right now, all I've been doing is filming a bunch of TikToks this morning, and I'm making the funniest TikTok ever. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, you should, if you have one, because I post so much Taylor Swift content on there, and it's just, like, so fun. But I thought today, I'd show you guys my red cardigan, and then I'll compare and contrast the old cardigan with the new red cardigan. It literally took 12 weeks to get here, and I think that's the same amount of time it took my other cardigan to get here, but at least it's here now. Today is also day one of me taking a break from posting on my main channel, and honestly, I wasn't sure how y'all were gonna react to me taking a break from posting on my other channel, but I got so many nice comments saying like, enjoy your break, um, thank you so much, you deserve a break, we'll be here when you come back, like it's so many nice comments, and so really just made me feel so much better about taking some time off to figure out my creative direction, just content and everything because I feel like in order to keep creating you definitely need to take moments where you just stop and like get re-inspired you know and you can't be like inspired all the time so I'm really glad I'm taking this break I'm really glad I'm still doing the vlog channel because this is what keeps me creative this is what I love to do I love making travel vlogs normal vlogs and so I think it's just so interesting to get like a glimpse into someone else's life and it's just like normal and like we're hanging out together. Y'all, acai bowls are like one of my favorite foods in the entire world. If you can call this like a singular food, a meal. One of my favorite meals ever. So good. So this past weekend I was in Denver for a semester at sea reunion and you'll guys see this video soon. I just don't know how I want to edit it because I didn't have a lot of time to, you know, like do the actual vlog, be like, hey, what's up guys? This is what we're doing. It's a lot of just like clips and so I'm thinking I might do like a voiceover, kind of challenge myself to change up my editing here and make it like a different style. I don't know. There's a lot of things I want to learn about editing this month and how I can like improve my editing in little ways, just like I know that I'm never gonna be like a top tier editor because I'm just like, I don't know, I feel like I'm pretty limited in what I can do and I don't really have the time to spend a very long time on editing a video, but I do want to learn like more cool transitions and just like little things. I did my taxes yesterday, which is pretty early for me. Last year I did it pretty late, but this was the first year that I did my taxes with YouTube being like, you know, my main source of income. And I realized that this year I really need to pay quarterly taxes so that I don't have to pay them all right now. But I truly don't know anything about taxes. So we're gonna figure that out. All right, friends, it is time for the red cardigan review. I was gonna do an unboxing, but I was too excited, so I already opened it out of the box, obviously, and I'm wearing it. I wanted to make TikToks in it this morning, so anyways. So here it is. Here is the red cardigan. It is so beautiful, but upon taking it out of the packaging, it does feel a little bit thicker than the original one. And so here, let's look at the original cardigan we have right here. Looks like this. The buttons are smaller. What was that sound? So this one has the three silver stars and obviously the blue lines and the color is a little bit more cream colored a yellowy undertone and this one it's actually pretty similar but i feel like it feels more white i don't know how to explain they're slightly different colors if that makes sense but as far as like the knitting it looks like the exact same like the same kind of knitting obviously this one doesn't have the blue in it um these buttons are bigger and they're like multicolor brown and then on the sleeve we got four red stars obviously 
I kind of like how this one doesn't have anything branding on the front. It doesn't say like Red Taylor's version or anything. So it's more like it's easier to style because of that. It does have on the bottom, it just says Taylor Swift on the very bottom, which I like. But this one does feel thicker. And I feel like for this one, I'm not going to hang it up. I've been hanging up my other one, kind of like a fabric hanger, but it still kind of pulls it a little bit and stretches it out. But anyways, so classic cardigan and then this one. And I think this one might be a little bit longer. I got a medium in both because I want them to be like bigger. Anyways, I... I'm obsessed and I think I'm gonna be able to wear this one more with more things. I like wearing this one out in public so people know I'm a Taylor Swift fan <laughs> because truly I feel like you have to be a pretty solid Taylor Swift fan to recognize the cardigan and I feel like at this point the OG cardigan is like impossible to find so I'm very happy that I had bought this at the time they were selling it because people are reselling these for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I would not pay that much money for one of these but yeah I'm glad I got the red one. That is my little red cardigan review and I really hope she continues this little pattern and puts out a new cardigan for each re-record because I would love that and I would love one with purple stars on it if you know what I mean. Also I wanted to show you guys one more thing. Before I got the red cardigan they came out with the Lover Valentine's collection on the website and so funny because I ordered this and I got this before I got the cardigan. So I got the picks. It's like a little lover themed pick set and these are so cute. They're shaped like little hearts. You can see that. So cute. And then it comes in pink, purple, and blue. It says lover. There it is. So cute. Lover. These picks are actually pretty thick. So I don't know if I would use these like all the time, but they are like a little fun, festive Valentine's Day theme. I am really glad she sold guitar picks because she literally never sells them anymore. And I love collecting guitar picks, obviously. How is this lighting? I don't know. Is this lighting? Okay, guys. So this weekend is Valentine's weekend. Well, Valentine's is on like next Tuesday. So this coming weekend would be like, you know, when you celebrate it. But like, obviously, like, we're not celebrating Valentine's Day. We're celebrating Galentine's Day. And I'm going to visit Lauren in Santa Barbara. And I'm so excited because I haven't seen her in what feels like forever. So last week I went to Target. I went to Target to literally get one thing, makeup or something, one thing. And you know what I walked out with? All of this stuff. So I'm gonna do a little Valentine's Day haul and show you guys what I'm bringing for our little Valentine's weekend because Lauren's gonna invite like a couple of her coworkers over. We're just gonna have a girls night, make cute sparkly pink drinks and just play games and stuff. So it's gonna be really fun. So it started when I walked to the dollar section, which is usually what I do, especially when I go to Target alone. I grab a little hand basket and then I just kind of like wander the whole store, even if I only need one thing. So I wandered through the dollar section and I found this cute little heart thing for one dollar and I'm like oh I'm gonna make Lauren a little Valentine's basket you know gal pal thing and then I found this cute pink candle in the dollar section it's three dollars though and it smells so good so this was my first thing I picked up I was like okay and then I'll just get some candy nope and then I was in the makeup aisle got my makeup and then I was like oh my god glitter sparkly gel peel off face mask so cute so i got a, a purple one and a rose gold one so that we could do them together this weekend and then you'd think i would stop there no i did not stop there i was walking through the coffee aisle and i was like oh my gosh i should get hot chocolate so we can make hot chocolate and you know like i don't know watch a movie i don't know so then i got that in there went to the candy aisle and I got these lava cake Hershey kisses with little hearts on them. So I was like, okay, this is going to be it. And then as I was making my way to the cash register, 
I ran into Stitch. Look how cute this is. It is the softest, cutest thing I've ever felt in my whole life. So what happened was I think the Disney stores started partnering with Target and they have like a Disney section now. And when I saw this, I was like, it's art. I already bought it in my mind. I was like, Lauren loves Stitch. And so immediately was like, I need to buy this for her. It's so cute. It's like weighted. So it feels like a little baby and it's so cute. So if you guys want a little stitch, or I think there's other characters, I don't even remember because I literally just grabbed this and kept walking. But yeah, that's all the stuff that I'm bringing, as well as I'm bringing a bunch of decorations. Like, I have a ton of red star confetti from all of my Taylor Swift merch that I'm gonna bring, and just a couple of different decorations. I feel like I hate the idea of Valentine's Day. I hate that, like, that's like, it's like a couple's thing. I don't like that aspect of it, but I love the aesthetic of Valentine's Valentine's Day, I love pink and hearts and red themes, so we're gonna make cookies and cupcakes or whatever, just charcuterie boards, like everything about the aesthetic of Valentine's Day, I love. As for the rest of today, I think I'm gonna go to Target. I think I convinced my mom to go to Target with me. And why do I need to go to Target? You're probably wondering, because I just went there and got all this stuff there. Um, I saw on TikTok that they have new pajama sets and I just, as soon as I see something like that, I'm like, I need to go. I need to go see for myself if they're actually good. Usually if I wait too long, then they're all gone. And I just like going to Target. It's like a whole thing. And then there's a Starbucks in my Target, which is like the best part because then you get a little Starbucks, walk around, Anyways, yeah, I think I just gotta run errands for the rest of the day, do my taxes, and just get myself ready and organized for the weekend. Okay guys, stopped my nosebleed. I, <laughs> in the middle of the Target parking lot, got a giant nosebleed and the only thing we had to stop the bleeding, we had no tissues or anything in the car. My mom had just bought a bag from Target and it had like paper stuffing in it and that's what I used to stop the nosebleed until we got home. So, and the saddest part is that I got a drop of blood on my new red cardigan and it is soaking in water right now. <laughs> so fingers crossed that comes out, but I just wanna show you guys what I got from Target. So like one of the reasons I went to Target is because I saw they had cute pajama sets and I need a new one for, you know, when it gets warmer. And it's the cutest thing, $17 for the whole set. These little shorts, super cute. And then it comes with the top here, set. <laughs> and it's super soft, so excited about that. And then I needed new shampoo and I just like grabbed these because I have no idea like what shampoo I should get. And also I don't like spending a lot of money on shampoo. I know that I should, but I got these. They're sulfate free for blonde hair. So sounds good enough to me. And the last thing I got was kind of an impulse purchase because all of my nail polish is super old and I want to be festive. So I got pink for Valentine's Day. And yeah, that's all I got from Target. <laughs> So I guess this video has just become like a day in my life vlog because there's just a few things I wanted to share with you guys today, but I am gonna go outside and lie in the sun in my bathing suit because it's like almost 80 degrees. Actually, it might be more than 80 degrees. It is 83 degrees outside. The UV index is three, which is not bad. Wish it was higher. I think I'm going to bring my computer outside and try to get my Google Analytics certification stuff done. So there's a few things I wanna like learn and like get certified for just to kind of have them. And so when I was in college, I was certified for Google Ads and Google Analytics and it expired. So I'm redoing them and I'd like to learn more and also get other certifications for digital marketing, SEO, stuff like that, just to grow my knowledge for myself, for my YouTube channel, all that.
Hello guys, I'm back. So I sat outside for a long time and I fell asleep while doing my Google Analytics thing. And then I came inside and finished that up. And then I decided I should work out because we're going out to dinner tonight. And yes, I did do it with my makeup on because I didn't want to take it off and redo it for dinner because I'm lazy. My dad's taking us to our favorite Mexican restaurant because we just, we always go there. And my mom is going to have a girl's night with her friends. But anyways, this is what I'm wearing. I don't want to get too fancy, but like, it's cold, but it's also hot. So that's, this is the look. Also guys, this is my favorite time of day in my room when the sun is setting and it just looks like this and it's so aesthetic. I love it so much. Like how it comes through the window, through my little curtains and it just warms up my whole room. Just so aesthetic. Golden hour is the best hour. Okay, that's gonna be the end of the vlog today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.